what speed do I want to get my swing up to and how am I going to get there? Craig from Singling School here and in this video I'm introducing you into a new series that I'm going to call the Quest for Speed. The Quest for Speed is all about how I'm going to go about in 2022 increasing my club head speed, increasing my distance, and lowering my scores. Theoretically, increasing my club head speed should allow me to lower my scores. If I can add a few extra yards onto my drives, if my irons go just a little bit further, can I really lower my scores? We've seen Bryson DeChambeau win a US Open by overpowering the golf course. And we're seeing a lot of the newer major champions overpowering golf courses just by driving the ball so much further, having shorter clubs into the hole that it truthfully makes sense. Now I've done some work with speed training and honestly, I've not really stuck with it like I want to, like I need to. So my resolution, one of my resolutions is to actually stick with the speed training. So before I get into my baselines and my distance, or not my distance, my speed after day one, let's talk about what we're going to use. First and foremost, you gotta have something that's gonna be able to measure your speed. Now, this is a little pocket launch monitor that I've had for years. It's a PRGR that's been out for a few years. They have a newer model, but it allows me to pick up my club head speed, as does my Ernest Sports Tour Plus launch monitor. So when I'm inside, I can actually pick up the club head speed. I've compared the two, and the club head speeds are actually very, very similar on both units. So I'll be using this in conjunction with my Tour Plus. My driver, my driver is gonna be what I'm gauging all of my speed off of. How much faster does my driver get? Now, the driver I've got is the Cobra Rad Speed. And this is set at nine degrees. The shaft is actually a steadfast Jupiter extra stiff shaft. Now, a little bit about this club and where I am at currently a little bit of testing yesterday without any diving into any of the training, I can get this club up to about 117 miles an hour. Typically drives over 300 yards with that. I'd love to be able to get the driver speed up above 120 consistently and be able to max out about 125 before April. So that's giving me four months, just under four months, to really dial in this speed training program. So this is my measuring device overall. One of the things I'm using in my training is an app. The app on my iPhone is called Longer Golf Drive. And what Longer Golf Drive is, is it's basically an exercise app that allows you to do specific exercises every day, you can actually set a timer so it reminds you on your phone every day at the same time, mine's set for 9 a.m., to do the exercises. They're quick, usually take about five to 10 minutes to do the exercises, but they're focused on core strength and building up a core strength. So if you do these exercises without anything else, according to the app, you're gonna gain more distance and gain more speed with your driver and essentially all of your clubs. So I'm adding that app into my training. The other biggest thing of training that I'm gonna be using is my rip stick. And you've seen me use this, you've heard me talk about this if you've seen some of the videos before. It's an overspeed training device. It's essentially five clubs in one. There's four different weights in the bottom, three of them removable, the other, the big weighted head, and then there's a weight up here for your hands. So the way I'm going to use this 
is I'm going to keep one weight in the bottom, go through a series of swings, put another weight in, go through a series of swings, put the last weight in, go through a series of swings, and I'll break it all down for you in another video in the next video of the series. But on my quest for speed, this is going to be a very, very valuable device. I've used some of the other different overspeed training devices, the different sticks out there. This is by far my favorite. I love the guys at Ripstick. They've been great. They have a great online program that I'm going to follow. Uh, that online program is free. So if you're really looking to up your speed, check out the Ripstick. I've got a link down below in the description. There's also a discount code that's listed right alongside the link for the Ripstick. So use the discount code, go get yourself a Ripstick. It's going to help you get there. To track my progress, I've created a spreadsheet in the computer. What I'm doing is I'm actually going to be measuring my max speed every single time I use the ripstick and go through my training process. So you're gonna see on this spreadsheet, there's a max speed for one weight in the unit, two weights in the unit, three weights in the unit, and then my driver max speed. So as I said, I'm gonna go through the protocols here in the next video, but listen, these are the tools. This is my quest for speed. And right now, I'm at 117 with this bad boy. Let's get her to 125. Stay tuned, keep watching, and let's see how I progress in my quest for speed. In addition to Ripstick, I also wanna thank all the other companies that are helping me bring videos to you guys, 724 Golf, Adele Irons, Ernest Sports with the Tour Plus launch monitor, One with Golf with the golf bag, True Score Golf for the supplements. After this training, I get sore. A lot of the creams help relieve that, so True Score Golf is another great product out there. Everybody's listed down below in the description. Go follow them, go support them, Purchase some of their products. It's some of the best stuff on the market.